Hey guys, Boris Lasser from BK Forex. Welcome to our uh, post holiday Forex technicals for 528.13. Dollar takes a post holiday bounce. As always, trading foreign exchange or margin carries a high level risk may not be suitable for all investors. So I ask you to read this disclaimer very carefully and to understand and be aware of all the associated with trading on margin and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Well, Nikkei is bouncing and so is dollar yen. Um, as we open up the Asia session after all the holidays in both UK and US, so we're ready for business, I guess. And um, we're clearly having a little bit of a uh, up move here in dollar yen, but we see 102 as resistance and then 102.50 as key resistances over here. Although um, a strong takeout of both levels would really suggest that this was a bull bottom here um, and not a further move to the downside. Um, kind of an interesting setup here because I think that would really surprise a lot of people who were counting on further dollar yen weakness. Um, at least into the beginning of the week. But um, the fact that the Nikkei is bouncing and the fact that um, I guess maybe the JGBs are finally stabilizing, all of this creates a little bit of a better uh, background for Dali Yen trade so far. Although I still think the 102, 10250 is going to be very, very stiff resistance here. It may just peter out and come back and retest. If we retest at lower highs, that would be much more bullish. Um, for the longer term. But for now, I think the jury is still out, although obviously the near term direction is still to the upside, one or two in, in, um, um, in uh, sites for the uh, for the bulls as we stand right now. That's also translating into a dollar of strength all across the board. Euro taking down the 29s um, and now trading 20, 28.90. Um, well, let's see where the cable is uh, not as weak, but still also down, down to uh, 79s right now. Um, so all of this uh, dollar strength being translated across the board, and of course the weakest of them all right now is the Aussie coming right back into its year-to-date lows, right around, right below 96. The, the the spike low here was 95, 93, and we're within inches here of testing this at the beginning of the Asia session. So dollar strength all around, which I think is kind of a little, even mildly surprising for anybody who thought there was going to be a little bit of a uh, dollar um, rebound, or uh, excuse me, a anti-dollar rebound. In, um, uh, in the beginning of this week. Um, and the fact that the Aussie kind of failed, I think this is really interesting because um, this was one of those kind of technical setups that when it fails, it, it really breaks your heart. So this was a spike bottom, nice little doji, looked like a perfect turn in the Aussie on a dailies, did not get the turn. And that should have been a really, really telling sign technically that it, because we didn't get the turn the next day that the uh, uh, Path leaders resistance was to the downside, not to the upside. So the Aussie now testing 96s. We'll see if it can kind of hold around 96s, but now this is a very, very critical level. Um, and if we break below 96 90s, uh, we could be going to 90, excuse me, 95 90s. We could be going to those 95 50s, perhaps even 95s as, as the uh, much stronger test of, um, of, of Aussie weakness. Uh, back to the euro dollar. Euro dollar, not as bad, but still we're trading below the 20, uh, 29s. Um, this 28.50 now is a, is a key, key support level below that 28 and then a very, very strong support level around 2700s. Euro is still making higher lows, but failing to make higher highs. So this 29.50 right now, then 30 above that, we're going to be capping it, um, especially if we get any further um, dollar strength as we go into, um, uh, into the European session. And then um, lastly, back to cable, just to, to take a look at it a little bit more uh, in detail. Um, you know, cable is holding up actually relatively better than, than the rest of the anti-dollars. This 50-50 is a pretty strong support level. Underneath it, of course, the 150-100 is a very, very strong support level on dailies. Um, and that's where you're going to be finding a lot of support. 5150 caps the upside, um, but cable kind of holding um, holding steady. And if unless we break down into the 70s or 60s um, on the, on the um, in the 50-60s over here on, on the um, intraday charts, um, it looks like we may be actually begin to climb back up. And could retake 5100 if we get a little bit of a uh, rebound in the dollar as we go um, as the day progresses. For now, though, the most interesting look here is dollar yen uh, towards the 102s, whether this is a true um, real recovery um, in the dollar or whether it's just sort of a dead cat bounce. Um, and it could be a kind of a situation actually where I'm not, um, it would not be at all surprised if we get volatility up in Asia and then a complete retracement of this in uh, Europe and perhaps even a retest of the lows and a break to the downside, which would actually be a very, very negative structure. A much more positive structure for, for dollar bulls would be a close above 102s. That would suggest a near-term bottom here at 101s and perhaps a target of run, around 103s. Overall, still a distribution top around 103.75. That really is the key um, signal 
If you prefer their upside, this is basically consolidation within within a corrective uh, phase. And um, that's how it shapes up um, as we start the week. Wishing you guys the best of luck and the best of trading. This is Borscht Lasberg over and out.